Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another Junetastic Love Reading, Scorpios. How are you feeling today, Scorpios? I hope this video finds you guys doing absolutely amazing, Scorpios. It's kind of cloudy here. It's kind of in the afternoon today, but it's still a beautiful day today. Uh, it's just a beautiful day. It's a beautiful time here, but it's like, seem like things is picking up here, so... You may feel like it's not enough time. Something is going on. I feel like somebody may be about to purchase a home. You may be about to move. Your overall energy is home. And you also got fertility. Boy, that fertility keeps on coming out for you, Scorpios. And then you got home. And then once again, you got your life purpose. So I feel like it's all about you. It's not about your external or you can change everything through you you could be the generational breaker the curse breaker I feel like something is growing somebody may be finding out that they're with child it is your purpose to bring up forth a child you may have a, a special a special needs child here a very a divine soul Something within the home. You see, it looks magical. With life purpose, and I see this tree, it reminds me of stock. It reminds me of property, uh, stability, generational wealth. Somebody may be gifted a property here. It could be something that you have birthed from your manifesting here, Scorpios. You could have been manifesting something. Something about your spiritual gifts is going to make room for you, Scorpios. Make sure you're tapping into your fertility energy. That fertility is, you, you may have gifts and dreams in your belly that's ready to come forth. Some of your gifts and your dreams is to own a home or business and it's, it's happening. Some of you guys, it's time for you to trust. You may not be trusting that you are a blessing, that you can have blessings because you may be so used to things going bad. But it's time for you to step into your divine energy, uh, the fertility, divine feminine, the empress energy. Step into your divine power, Scorpios, because this is your life purpose. Once again, it's telling you that, you know, it's you. It comes from within. Although we, we, we would love to have a savior, <laughs> it don't work like that. Although, although we meet people, kindred souls here, ultimately, it's something individually that we all... <laughs> have to discover it could be telling you to protect your home light it up you may need to add more lights could represent that the ancestors are constantly protecting you you see that house is surrounded by light angelic force you may find a hidden gem of a, a deal of a house somebody may be moving to the country it says home is definitely where the heart is it's a place of security, protection, comfort, and sanctuary. And for you, there's nothing better than the feeling of being at home. As idyllic as, idyllic as that sounds, the reality of home is something far harsher. With disagreements, interruptions, or no time to call your own. And you know it must be you telling, you know it must be spirit telling you to nurture yourself again because you got that fertility card. So it's almost a need to deny everybody else in order for you to get yourself together. So it says sometimes harsh and disagreements, interruptions are no time. OK, so but feeling like an outsider is hard for anyone looking in. It's, so it's time to breathe new energy into your dwelling place by enhancing the ambiance with peace, warmth and happiness. This is what I did. I finally, I finally, um, I didn't do it, but I finally got somebody to put up my curtain rods and then I added some more plants and I added some pillow covers and it just changed the whole vibe. I added my little ceiling lights and you can you can remove them ceiling lights and they don't even leave no they don't leave no stain or nothing. But I'm just saying, Scorpio, it's time to set your atmosphere where it is in a healthy environment. It don't take a lot. Y'all know Dollar Tree. You can go on Dollar Tree with $30 and change the whole look of a room. It's like creating your, it's creating your heaven at home, making it a place of your zen so that you can have a, a free, open, clear uh, 
way gateway. You want to make sure that the, 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 uh, the connection is not obstructed by too much chaos. It may be time to get rid of old stuff. Like I'm telling y'all, I finally put my dresses on the curve. And you know, you try to help them put them out there because they was old, but I got them out. So that's kudos to me. I mean, you, you, sometimes you don't be feeling like doing those necessary things, but when you do it, you're going to see the results and you're going to appreciate it. And that's not only just your home, but everything in your life. But it's something about the home, though, that Spirit is trying to tell you about. It says... Um, Retreating within your newly energized, wait a minute, being feeling like an outsider is harder for anyone looking in. So it's time to breathe new energy into your dwelling place by enhancing the ambiance with peace, warmth and happiness. Retreating within your newly energized home for a while will restore you to the full strength required to face the outside world. So if you like anybody here, you work from home or you always a homebody, you know you got to make the home right because that's where you spend the majority of your time in. You don't want to have to go outside of the world and have to fight giants and then go home and fight giants too. The home is supposed to, what they say, home is where the heart is, but let's say the reality of it is sometimes people hate going home. So if you have the uh, ability, then change, change it up for your sake here, Scorpio. So it tells you a house sale goes through your magical meetings. A house sale could go through. Someone's trying to make themselves at home. You may have some unwanted visitors. Somebody may have moved in. They weren't supposed to be there that long. And now they're messing up everything here. It says put your boundaries in place. Clear out any clutter. That's what spirit is telling you because you have this empress energy, which is divine feminine, which is abundance, it's growth, it's fertility. It is the mother energy, life purpose. For some of you guys, you've already did your job as a mother. You've already raised people. Now, somebody may need to uh, lead a nest and start creating their, uh, laying their own roots here. So for some of you guys, you may be wanting to move in your own place or you may be wanting to uh, spruce it up or even if you can't move somewhere else, the little space you in, do whatever you can do to make it more pleasing to your energy because what we look at does affect our energy. You know what we look at, it affects how we feel, what we hear. So let's see. Now, this magical meaning for fertility, it says a long awaited pregnancy is confirmed. A birth is announced. Acknowledge your ideas. A new venture is successful. Your hard work has paid off. It's time to celebrate. You got the fertility card here. So for some of you guys, you're about to move into your own home and apart from everybody else. Or you're about to redecorate. Maybe you're about to get some new furniture. Maybe you're about to get the peace within a connection here. Maybe you're about to get a, 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 uh, a commitment here. You got home. You may be about to uh, level up in your relationship, something that you have been manifesting. But I feel like if you're manifesting, I feel like most of you Scorpios are, are making sure you get your own home together. Like owning your own home, owning your own property, things growing. Somebody may own a whole uh, property here. You could end up being some type of realtor, some type of uh, property person here, property management, or something may be growing. You may be, uh, you may be a, a farmer, a gardener, a nurse, a, nur with a person who runs a nursery, a plant nursery. So, something you're doing is growing. It's supposed to grow. This is your. This is this is what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be fruitful. It's supposed to be abundant. It's supposed to be successful. If you're getting anything lesser than that, it's time to tap into that fertility empress energy. And for some of you guys, the only way you can get it is to clean house. Once again, maybe you need to clear out clutter because, you know, you keep on looking at it. It's going to mess your head up. I'm telling you, like I was looking at them old dresses and I'm like, oh, now everything else was nice. But those two dresses and I'm like, I just cannot keep looking at these dresses because they were raggedy. It wasn't because I couldn't get them, but I just didn't feel like because I had to go find somebody to remove this. Plus, I had to go find them and I just made do. But man, it, it, it's an eyesore. It's an eyesore, and it don't even take a lot of money. You 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 piece it, piece it as you go along. You do it as as you're able to. But it's been times. I mean, you know, I've been able to, but I just just never focused on it. But it changed the energy. It made it. 
Because let me tell you something. Because whether you know it or not, thank you, Spirit, they go to the magician card. Let's say if you got it in your power to, to make a change, but you don't, then that's going to make it worse. Because if you got raggedy stuff around, raggedy is associated with lack and poverty. And you may just be ignoring it, but it's still something that if it, it's, it's a say like something that, that's old or broken, it still shouldn't be here. If, if, if something's sitting around here and it don't work no more, then that's attracting more stuff to it is what I'm learning because it makes sense, don't it? If you got raggedy stuff around here, if you keep that raggedy stuff there, why is new going to come? You can get the raggedy stuff out first and ain't got no use to it, whatever it is. Because you got the magician card here, see? There it is. You can manifest. You could be going through a major transformation here. I see the death card, but your overall energy is the magician here for Scorpios. Yeah, I'd be so happy. And then, and then when I started start getting rid of stuff and I can see the I can see the change and I can walk freely and, and I'm telling and you, then you can think, you can meditate, you can pray, you can do whatever you want to do peacefully because when you start looking at stuff it's going to mess with your mind like I got this room I need to work on here too this going to be my next project look they go to nine of cups I got a lot of clutter like I say <laughs> all the stuff been left for mama that's why that empress deserves a break don't she because the mama you always a mama they, and I'm, I don't care how cool daddy is and how much they love daddy if that is if there's a mama in the picture they choose mama because it's, it's because the mama is associated with that feminine energy, that loving feminine sulfur side. It's like you, the, the discipline is going to come from a gentle, a gentleness, but from the masculine, it's going to be disciplined, but it's, it's going to be kind of uh, hard. You know what I'm saying? That masculine's way. So everybody going to run to mama because mama make it right, don't she? But they go to five of ones, though. Somebody's dealing with conflicts. You could have some jealousy because you the Empress Scorpios. Ace of one, Ace of Pentacles. For some of you guys, there's competition and arguments within your home. For some of you guys, you could be in an unhealthy situation, whether you're living with somebody and you're trying to manifest your own beginning. And I feel like you're going to get it with this Ace of Wands and this Ace of Pentacles. You could be looking for a change. Ace of Swords. See, there you go. I told you some of y'all going, some of y'all finna manifest this. They go to Empress. See? You got all the power. But like I said, you, 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 may, you may have all the power, but if your psyche is looking at trash or looking at a bag that's broken, all you got to do is take it to the curb or do this. That, that, that right there could change everything. Because, you know, when you start hitting depression, those things, you start forgetting about those things. And I'm not talking bad about nobody. I'm just trying to let you see all this good energy that you have. You have home and the emphasis. You've got a lot of success, new opportunities to start completely over. Somebody may be about to get a new home, relocate, new furniture. Maybe Big Daddy going to come in here and say, you know what, run my tab, but run it up, run it up, run it up. Is that what they're going to come in here and say? Because you see, I keep on saying that. And anytime I see the king of pentacles with the empress, I always think about somebody here that wants to provide for you. I'll be a gentleman, Scorpio. If you want me to love you right, try me mm, for life. I'll be big daddy, baby. They said they're going to be big daddy for you. They said whatever you want, just take the card. Mama, you ain't got to say nothing. You got the card, don't you? They said, I don't even want you to say nothing to whatever you is, whatever you need, just run it up, run it up, run it up. <laughs> hey, you got the Ace of Pentacles here. So with this Five of Wands energy, it could represent, like I said, for some of you guys, you may be in a relationship and it's becoming confusing and very, very toxic, or there's a lot of arguments, or maybe there's outside people in your business. It could be somebody checking you out, looking at you in such an impressive way that they feel like they're going to have to manifest you because they feel like it's got to be other people that's after you because they're checking you out. They said somebody like you don't stay single for long with that Ace of Swords and the Empress and the King of Pentacles. I feel like this is what they're saying. A, a person like you is not going to stay on the market for too long or you may already be single. 
And for some of you guys, once again, you may be being challenged within the home with children and you are a mother and you're trying to keep it together. You may be trying to keep the peace together at home, plus have a romantic life too. And you might be like, and God dang, it's stuff coming from all over the place here. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> so let's clarify. But it's nothing you can't handle because you have the, you have the magician, the nine of cups. There's happiness here. Some type of emotional fulfillment. Satisfaction guaranteed. Call me. Somebody checking somebody out, though. You know it's got to be them checking you out because the Empress ain't chasing after you. The Empress is sitting on her throne drinking coconut daiquiris, okay? <laughs> coconut strawberry kiwi daiquiri. Coconut strawberry mango mixed fruit daiquiri, okay? <laughs> Scorpio sitting on a beach. Yaman smoke, uh, drinking on. Okay, yeah, that too. They sitting right up under the tree, god dang it, they in Jamaica on the island getting fed grapes and things. Somebody may offer you a, a paid vacation. I feel like something that you've been manifesting, Scorpio, is about to happen for you. If you've been praying about something, believing about something, it's going to happen for you. And I feel like it's going to be, it's going to exceed your expectations. All right. So let's see. <clears throat> All right, let's see. What's this page of swords here for? Clarify the page of swords for Scorpio. Clarify this page of swords. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. They're like, little mama, what's up? I know you got, I know they, can I buy your lunch today? God dang, you gonna let everybody buy your lunch but me? No, 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 she says my turn, it's my turn. <laughs> What you do? <laughs> they fighting to pay for your lunch and things. <laughs> With that five of ones, you got folks standing in line to be a blessing to you, god dang it. Wouldn't that be nice? I feel like that is, you could, you could be a, a tractor here, especially in that feminine energy. You could be attracting a new home, a new residence, peace in your home. You could be bringing the peace and love back into the home. Page of Swords, see Ace of Pentacles, see? That that ace of pentacles is, god dang it. Like I said, somebody may be looking, somebody may be looking for you to give you some money. They say, well, we've been looking for you, Scorpio. Well, yeah, you move. Well, look, we got, look here, Scorpio, we got this 100 stacks for you. What's your cash app? <laughs> What's the limit? <laughs> we gonna send them in, in increments, okay? We gonna send you 10 at a time or five at a time. <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> Y'all call in work. <laughs> You're like, I ain't gonna make it. <laughs> and they see you all on, <laughs> they see you all posting on YouTube or Facebook. Y'all them took a trip. Now look, like I said, they're coming in for something real. They go to 401, see? For some of you guys, ooh, but it's a romantic relationship, see? Because there go the lovers. Gemini, ooh, wee, Scorpios, ooh, wee, wee, wee. Gemini, twin flame energy, harmony, new beginnings. Somebody said that they, 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 they found one, mama. Somebody feel a connection with you. Someone is curious about you. Someone can't stop thinking about you. Or is this you, them? But I feel like that's them, you, because you the empress. You know the empress. You know <laughs> your intuition going to tell you what you need to know about them. You ain't got to hunt them down. They're going to chase after you, girl. So let's see what's up with this empress for Scorpios. Clarify the empress. Do I need one more card? All right, one more card for the Page of Swords. Why is this Page of Swords? What are they inquiring about you? Somebody may be asking around about you. Somebody may be asking for advice. Like, man, what you think about this Scorpio now? Let me tell you now, now, now. One more card for the Page of Swords for Scorpios. Ooh, all right. Jump on out then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, Ten of Wands, though. Something is difficult. Is it difficult for someone to address you with this? This is a lot. 
Somebody may be feeling like if they come to you, they got to come with some money or some type of relationship. Or maybe some... Or maybe this is someone here who wants to offer you something, but they already got a lot going on. Or maybe this is hard for them to do. Ooh, Scorpio. Ooh, they difficult. It seems like now I wonder what they got going on. Why, why the Ten of Wands came out here? Now what you come out here for? Now you popped out. Maybe somebody got somebody else that they're dealing with, Scorpios. Page of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. It's like they see this with you, but it's something that's, that they need to, to release. I feel like that's what I'm getting. The Ten of Wands shouldn't have came. Why is this a burden? The only way it's a burden is because you can't have it or someone wants it. I feel like they want to give it to you, but I feel like somebody may need to do end something. They go to the Tower card. Let's come back to it if I need to. Now, what's up with this Empress? Clarify the Empress for Scorpios, Divine Feminine Libra, Venus Energy, Abundance, Growth, Fertile Grounds, Birth, The Moon, Hiding Something, Not Talking to This Person. I feel like you're not talking to this person. Ooh. Eight of Cups, Six of Cups. So they're watching you. And I feel like y'all walking away from this person because you may feel like this person was hiding stuff from you. Could have been a Pisces, could have been a Libra, but you got the six, of, got the Eight of Cups and the Six of Cups. Could have been a Sagittarius. You probably realize that you deserve more from this person. Maybe this person didn't want to offer you much. Maybe they need to make up their mind. Why is this Empress here for Scorpios? Clarify the Empress. Spirit, why is this Empress here? Somebody got a lot to say. Come on, Empress. What you got going on? Some of you guys may be keeping your emotions to yourself from this person. Page of Pentacles. That showed up in the reverse. And they go to Seven of Swords. Yeah. I feel like it's one of those situations when somebody needs to make up their mind what they wanted. Maybe they was playing games, Scorpios. So maybe this is what Spirit is trying to tell you, that maybe you deserve something better. For some of you guys, you may have wanted a commitment with someone, but maybe they couldn't decide what they wanted. I feel like somebody wants to give you what you want, but they may have some type of attachment to something else. Because you deserve it. Maybe this person ain't on your level. Maybe you have outgrown this person. Maybe you deserve better. You got the Ace of Pentacles here twice, though. So what's up with this King of Pentacles for Scorpios? Clarify the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. What's up with this King of Pentacles for Scorpios? This person could be married for some of y'all. Or just a boss that's all about their money, their independence. Not really wanting to settle down now because they're career focused. What's up with this King of Pentacles for Scorpios? Mm, five of Cups. Somebody has a lot of regret. I guess because they wasn't a team player with you. Oh my goodness. Now what's up with this King of Pentacles? So they must be thinking about you or maybe you're thinking about them. Somebody got a lot of regrets though. Ace of Cups, there it is. Somebody may be regretting that they did not choose love. They may have chose their career or their life path or because you remember you got life purpose. Somebody's may have followed their purpose here. Maybe their purpose was just being an entrepreneur or business person. You know, maybe they felt like Maybe maybe they feel like he was asking for too much, especially as the empress, why they're the king of pentacles. Somebody regrets 
either somebody regrets starting over somewhere else or someone regrets not not uh, taking this serious. You got all of the aces here, see? And so somebody got a lot of stress and worry. Oof. Got the ace of swords, ace of pentacles, ace of wands, ace of cups. What's up with this king of pentacles for Scorpios? See, because they go to King of Pentacles and the reverse. They was all about their money. I feel like this was kind of like a narcissistical person here. They probably was um, not a team player. I feel like this person is all about their money. So for some of y'all, this person made themselves emotionally unavailable. And now they're regretting it. Somebody should have took time for love when it was presented to them. Wow, Scorpios. What's one more card for the King of Pentacles? See, now they soul searching. The Hermit could be a Virgo. What's up with the Magician for Scorpios? Clarify the Magician. Pisces energy. You know you can manifest the lifestyle, the life you desire. Especially as the Empress with their fertility energy in home. Somebody may be, look, they go to higher fence. Somebody may be manifesting some type of relationship here, too. Somebody's trying to get you back. And look, for some of y'all, you got a soulmate doing some magic on you because they want you back that bad, all right? Now, they could be doing magic where they're manifesting you, but somebody's definitely manifesting you. Somebody that's not happy, and I don't think it's you. Four of Cups. Seven of Swords, the Chariot in the reverse, because somebody is still in, somebody's still full of illusions about this connection. See, it's a soulmate, Two of Cups and the Seven of Cups. So for some of y'all, Scorpio, somebody wants you back that bad that they would would work magic on you, but I feel like it's not working. Because if it was working, they wouldn't be trying to come back. They may have once upon a time see because they go to Wheel of Fortune. It doesn't work on you no more. Things have changed. I feel like the, the, the magic that they had you stuck on is back up on them. And now they're dealing, they're, they're, they're living with the regret. Why is the five of wands here for Scorpios? Clarify the five of wands. Could be a Cancer, a Pisces. Why is this five of wands here? This could be competition, arguments, confusion, too many folks in your business. Folks always asking for a cup of sugar and then I tell you, well, I, got, I heard y'all out here the other night. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everybody all right? I seen the police. I seen, I seen the paramedics. I seen everybody coming. Everybody all right? Everybody all right? I'm just, just making sure neighbor. Just making sure neighbor because <laughs> y'all out there clowning. <laughs> Oh, shit, I'm just saying. Five of Wands. What's up with the Five of Wands for Scorpios? Clarify the Five of Wands. Five of Wands, Seven of Wands. See? Seven of Wands is in the reverse. Somebody said that they don't want to play, they don't want to fight with you. It could represent that. I feel like somebody here don't want to block you anymore. They don't want to fight with you. They don't want to do what it takes to put a, uh, a wedge between the two of you. But they go that five of swords in reverse. Like I say, somebody's feeling defeated once again. They may be having inner conflict. It could be a lot of people turning against this person here in their life. They, they run into a lot of challenges here. Somebody's trying to get to their happiness, though. I feel like somebody's fighting through a lot to get to you. Because there go the sun card. Could be a Leo. And there go the nine of cups. And there go the ace of wands again. They trying to get to you, but maybe they're not supposed to get to you. I feel like for some of y'all, you got a soulmate that's really trying to get to you. But spirit is not letting this person get to you until they make some changes. That's what it is. Like I say, it's not far-fetched that somebody's person is trying to work some type of love spell to get you, but it's not going to work because they still have to go through some type of internal change instead of trying to control you so that they don't have to change. Now they need to do the changing. So someone is obsessed with getting you back. That's what I feel like, but it's not working because 
whatever whatever they try to do to you is going to be on them. They don't may not realize it. See, for some of y'all, somebody who you least expect. King of Swords, Ace of Wands. Because this person is, was, was detached here. But I feel like this person is all about their money. They didn't want the opportunity of love to be with you. But now this person is soul searching here. Because now it's not sitting well with them. They can't move on. I guess somebody's trying to figure out did they make a mistake. So someone here may be obsessed with getting you back to the point where nah, it ain't for everybody. Everybody ain't gonna work, gonna work no spell work on you. But I mean, spell work ain't, it's like thinking about somebody. There's so many ways you can manifest somebody. Especially when you got that ace of wands with the king of swords. But they're not feeling as confident. It's like somebody's realized that they didn't miss out on an opportunity to love you because of the way that they think or the way they handle. Maybe they didn't want it. Now I feel like this person is afraid that you've really walked away. That's what I'm getting. So someone may do something desperate to get you back because now they may be realizing maybe they didn't miss out. Nine of Cups. So they're stressing out about so ooh, I heard that. Nine of Cups. The Emperor. Mm. I heard that. And there go that Empress. See? Oh, why is this Nine of Cups here with the Emperor? You could be dealing with the Aries. Pisces, Virgo. Cancer, Pisces, Leo, Libra. See, and there go uh, temperance, Sagittarius, divine time and patience. So this person may have been t trying to get their energy back on track. I feel like somebody feels like Somebody wants to come out of the cold. Somebody wants to get the relationship out of cold with you. That's what I feel like. Because they don't have that warmth that you provide. They go to their home. They was talking about, see, there it is. Ten of Cups in the reverse and the, and the Five of Pentacles. That's them. They put themselves in the cold. You saw that King of Swords. Now they want to be warmed back up with the King of Swords and the Ace of Wands. See there? So it's almost like somebody know that they're going to have to level up or they're going to have to change something. They want to get you back. Because once again, if they want to come back home, <laughs> for some of y'all, or whoever, if they want to come back home, they're going to have to change something. They may be realizing it's a destined, destined thing here. See that home energy? That's what they want. They want that home energy with that empress. Because they find themselves outside of the warmth of the Empress. That's the Nine of Cups. Like I say, the Emperor finna get their ish right. Ace of Wands. So like they start off toxic and in reverse and all those things like that. But I'm telling you, it seems like the Emperor always come back around. Scorpio, Ace of Wands. The hangman, because this person ain't had no action till you walked away, since you walked away. Not only has have they not had any action, you have not moved backwards. You ain't came back. See, you know, they feel like that's what they get, or they're going to have to make it right. Like I said, somebody had to be willing to change. It is the sun card in here. You got uh, the hermit here. That's why your person's showing up as the emperor now. See, because somebody's person been tapping in the four swords. While you've been away from this person, see, somebody really needs to do a lot of soul searching, Scorpio. And what the same person is realizing, Scorpio, is that they do love you. See, they go to King of Cups. See, see, they want to reconnect with you. See, cause to celebrate. Ace of Pentacles. See, so something about the home, your relationship is going to be restored or the harmony is coming back with that 4-1 and Ace of Pentacles. But I feel like it's only happening because this person needs to release a bird. And now whether it was their ego, their pride, their arrogance, that needed to go. That's the only way they was going to get you back. Ace of Pentacles. 
What's up with the Ace of Pentacles for Scorpios? I wonder if it raining today. No. I said I was going to fry me some fish today. I've been seeing a lot of TikTok videos with everybody's air frying their fish. But I just don't believe it's going to be crispy enough. But I guess it will be crispy if you turn it up real high and you let it cook long enough. So I may try that too because I was going to fix me a nice leafy salad with it. I want some more. I fell in love with my little rice cooker because I can put like coconut milk in it and make it real seasoned because I put my green onions in it, my coconut milk, and I put my little um, chicken stock, a little bit of that, a little herbs in it, and I put my little habano pepper in it, just a little piece. And I'm talking about it's not hot, but you can tell that it's something in it. It's just amazing. Man, it's amazing. Man, that make me want to cook. So I got the Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles. You got an opportunity you've been waiting for, Scorpios. Something, something with that fertility growth, something that you don't even know that that's been growing behind the scenes. Something that you've already planted the seeds, Scorpio. Little do you know that it has been growing behind the seeds. The scene. That's what spirit is telling you. Something that you've already invested in and put the time and energy in. Uh, it, it is something that's growing behind the scenes. Ace of Pentacles. Something is about to be something is transforming that go judgment. Something is happening behind the scenes in your favor, Scorpios, pertaining to a love relationship and even money. It seems because you got the Ace of Pentacles twice could be a home too. Is that thunder? Can't be thunders. Oh, somebody probably outside moving. See, for some of y'all, ooh, and look, and there go the Queen of Pentacles. See. You got the king of pentacles. I feel like this person wasn't looking for no relationship. They was all about they self. But you got the king of pentacles in the up right now. I feel like somebody here is planning on offering you something real, Scorpios. Wow. Ace of pentacles for Scorpios. What's up with this ace of pentacles? Ace of pentacles for Scorpios. Knight of Wands. That's the Knight of Wands. I think they're coming in. I bet they is passionate about you. Or the Page of Wands. I feel like somebody wants to come in and offer you something real. But somebody's, somebody's slowly building their courage. So somebody may come with a small message. But it's just because I feel like somebody here is so afraid because what they're looking for, Scorpio, this is a big step for them. And I feel like they're coming in here to offer you something real. It's almost like they're coming in, they're coming home. Somebody ready for their home life is what I'm getting. Somebody's ready for that home life. Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here for Scorpios? Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here for Scorpios? The Magician, ooh, and the Ace of Wands, wow, see? I feel like the thing that you manifested here, Scorpio, is happening behind the scenes, and you don't even, it's happening for you. For some of you guys, you're about to move in with somebody, your, your relationship is about to ascend to a higher level of commitment, because I feel like somebody here who dropped the ball in the past is ready to settle down now. Because it's almost like if you're not making a fuss over this person here, Scorpios, if you're not making a fuss over people, it's going to get their attention. They're going to realize you're not around. And now they're going to realize that if they don't take action, that you, they, they could lose this. You have the emperor and the empress, so you know it's a divine connection here. But I feel like there's lessons that's supposed to be learned between the two of you, how you can grow and mature. Work things out like, you know, like bosses, like like wise people do so once again i feel like something is being is going to be presented to you and it's up to you to you know whether or not you know what's for you or not ace of swords ace of wands and the magician you got the magician card twice clarify this ace of swords for scorpios remember your overall energy is home and the Empress, I feel like Scorpio, you make them want to come home. You make them want to get out the streets, okay? <laughs> Take me out of the streets and come and rescue me. 
They say, come and rescue. They say, Scorpio, you rescued me. They say, you get me out them their streets. They said, the streets were no good for me, baby, but I didn't know that I needed you until I met you. Get me at the streets. Get me at the group chat. Get me at the strip club. <laughs> come and rescue me. They said, come on and rescue me, mommy. I need to come home. Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, the magician. Six of Pentacles, the merchant being generous. Somebody wants to give to this relationship. Because someone can't get over it anyway, Scorpio. See, you got the devil in the four of pentacles. I feel like somebody's realizing that they can't get over you, so they're going to have to figure out. Somebody's realizing, Scorpio, that they cannot move on from you. So what they say, if you can't beat them, join them. They feel like they got to join you because they can't beat you, Scorpios. All right, Scorpio, this is your Junetastic love reading. So if it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys so much. Please thumbs up this video, and I'll talk to you on the next one.